Hello and welcome to the daily Black Desert News. Yes, 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 yes. There's a new trailer thing they released earlier today. Pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. I like the intro cut thing with water. I figured you would. That's like a date thing, I think. Yeah, 15th of December. Or is it the 12th day of the 15th month? That's a good point. Could be that. But yeah, this is a teaser for the uh, Dark Knight class being added the 15th of uh, this month to the Korean version of the game. Strange how they would show a Batman trailer without Batman in it. <laughs> it's a little bit uh, weird, yeah. But yeah, so it's called Dark Knight dot uh, Dark Elf, and being released pretty soon. Hopefully, the English release of the class isn't too far away. That'd be nice. That yeah, we nice. slowly caught up in terms of content. I think we're like a month or so behind stuff. No. Something like that ish. So here's the render of her. Like she's got a uh, fancy longsword. I, I would assume she has some kind of offhand as well, but we don't know what that is. Mm. I would assume like this might be like the her default cash up uh, outfit. Another fancy render. Oh. I like her uh, mm. like purple mm. highlights on the hair. Mm. <laughs> Another fancy render. Very pretty. Oh, look, she has some armor. <laughs> I like the flower on her shoulder, too. Oh, yeah. I, I keep yeah. trying to look for an offhand somewhere, but it's, I haven't seen anything. Uh, mm. Yeah, I don't... I yeah, I don't know what it would be. So we don't know too many details about the class, but uh, apparently, like, they've specifically said, like, her animations will look uh, particularly flashy and yeah, I said like she uses a long sword but she also uses the dark magic from from a distance maybe that's her offhand just her her magical fingers <laughs> <laughs> and um I don't have the exact quote but I'm I want to say there was an interview some months ago where they said they were considering a male version of the class oh thank okay I've been mad about nothing if that's the case <laughs> I really hope they do yeah, I, I hope that's the case as well. I, I, I am honestly surprised they haven't announced that already because I think with all previous classes, there's been a male and female version, like with uh, Ninja, Kunoichi, Musa, Maewa. So I'm kind of surprised they like, announced this without a male version. Well, Sorceress and Berserker are the two exceptions to that. Yeah, but those were also like very early classes. I kind of... Mm -hmm. I kind of got the impression that with the later classes, they kind of learned the lesson of, oh, yeah, we should go with male and, and female. That's how I was feeling too. So I hope that's true. I hope they do a male version of this too. Yeah. Yes, we'll see. Also, by the way, I want to quickly say that that teaser is probably my favorite teaser they've done so far. Mm. It looks really neat. Is that uh, is that only because of the uh, water logo? <laughs> that might be like seventy percent of it. <laughs> So there was a Japanese presentation uh, recently about the Japanese oh version of Black Desert and upcoming content. <laughs> so they had uh, fancy cosplay as part of the event. I'm just I'm trying to imagine uh, Crazy Cat's ranger standing next to all of them because she'd be <laughs> twice twice their height. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, they also had uh, really fancy shark hats. <laughs> <laughs> Is that advertising their shark cash shop shoot, suit to help you swim underwater? Probably. Shark attack. So a big part of this presentation is the uh, the Magoria um, uh, the region, which is something which is yet to be added to the Japanese and English uh, versions of the game, which includes a uh, huge ocean and this uh, harbor town. One thing to note, though, before you get too excited about that town, as, as Sectus has discovered... You can't actually, like, none of those are actual houses you can invest in, right? That, uh, that is correct. It's just as aesthetic. Yeah, I I, mm. I really hope they they expand upon this because it looks really cool, but it is, it is small. Like, this is the entire area you can explore. And there's a lot of invisible walls. Like, like, like for instance, you can't go to these trees. Like, there's an invisible wall as you, like, try to go up here, I think. But it looks really cool. And, like... Uh, I hope this is something they'd really expand upon. I'd be really surprised if you could never access anything beyond that, considering how far you have to go to get there. And yeah. It, it looks really nice behind there, so you'd think you, they'd want you to see that. Yeah, but, but also I think like the main part of, the, of, of this uh, region is, is the ocean and, and, not, and not this harbor town. 
Mm. I think this harbor town is like just a place you can randomly go to for trading and, and some small quests. Early access. <laughs> and with the Magoria region, like there's also going to be a lot of uh, stuff to do underwater. Like I am really excited about that. A lot of treasures and stuff. Ship. And uh, mm. sea monsters you can hunt as part of the expansion. Oh my god, is it turning into Monster Hunter? Pretty much, pretty much. You can uh, you can hunt this with uh, cannons on on the new ships they're adding. There will also be uh, new guild quests for hunting these uh, monsters. Oh boy, the detail on these look really, really high res. Yeah, yeah, they they look uh, fancy. That looks cool. Rawr. A lot of new monsters. I th uh, I want to say there's also like these ghost ships you can encounter in the uh, ocean. Oh no. I'm getting the ghosts. Spooky flashbacks to Super Mario 64 underwater levels. <laughs> <laughs> so this is... Goddamn eel. Sorry, what? Uh, this is the uh, guild galley you can craft as a guild. <gasps> that's big. So that's what we've been preparing for all this time. All that pine wood that we've been gathering. Uh, no, no, no. The, no, no, no. The pine is for the player ship. This is the guild ship. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, so, so this is something you you create for the guild, like like similar with the guild elephant and the resources you resources like the amount of resources you need is very similar to the guild elephant. I I've heard people say there's also a quest to get one guild galley for free, and I wonder if we will get that as well. Well, okay. I guess we'll just see. Hmm. So it'll have eight cannons which people can use, and there's like this uh, place up here you can. Uh, go up to, to like get a good uh, bird's view on everything. I wonder what its movement speed will be compared to other ships that we already have and the fish costume. <laughs> uh, this is the uh, the player ship, the Aferia sailing ship. They'll add with the with the region as well. So this that is the one where really you need cool. the pine plywood. Hmm? I just said that looks really cool. Yeah, and it comes yeah. with two cannons. And uh, yeah, you, you talked about the uh, the speed, and I have and I've been able to like uh, check out the boat a little bit in the Korean version, and and it is a lot faster than, for instance, the uh, the uh, the previous boats you could have as as a player. Okay. I, I'm I'm also pretty sure I'm pretty sure it is actually faster than a fish fish costume, <laughs> but I haven't I actually hope compared. So. <laughs> oh. The one thing I would be pretty excited to see, and I feel like someone should do this, like they should record themselves doing this as a challenge. They should go, they should go to this, uh, to this harbor town on a raft. They should go from Velia <laughs> to this harbor town on a raft. I think that would be super cool, like super oh, impressive, God. and probably really boring for the person, but be really cool. <laughs> oh. And this is still upcoming. The tier nine horses. There, 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 there's no new details about this. Well, I mean. They had a, like this huge Japanese presentation, but I couldn't find any actual good translation. So maybe they said any new de details about the uh, packages, but I don't know. But I, I, I want this. It looks cool. It's what was it? Simply glowing. Pegasus, unicorn, and hell horse that they're releasing as tier nine. Yeah, those are the ones we know about. Okay. So yeah, and they also released new details about the Camasilvia region, which will be released. Uh, I, I want to say they said like early next year they'll start releasing it in 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 Korea, and this will be released in uh, three parts. There's probably going to be a focus on like a a war between two elf regions, and the second and third parts will like focus on on each um, elf region. I mean, I mean, I mean faction. That environment does look very elven, <laughs> elvish. I wonder if this means it's either going to be bigger or more dense than. Valencia, because Valencia was released in two parts, correct? Yeah, 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 that that is correct. Ooh. And some more uh, concept art stuff. Was that a male in that concept art? <laughs> <laughs> yes, a male character. Male dark mm. elf? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm reaching right now. <laughs> but yeah, this this area looks cool, and I, and I can't wait to explore it. I hope, I hope it has... The return of uh, secret caves. I haven't been, been able to find any secret caves in Valencia yet, and I find that disappointing. And yeah, uh, mm. they're also going to have this monster being added, and this is an image for scale, like this what boat. The hell? It's going to be this huge. 
And here's some what? more cuts of dark. Like it's what? It's, Jesus Christ. It's, this is just terrifying. This this is insane. That's amazing. It's it's so scary. I, I like I have I've already uh, like crossed the ocean like one or two times in the Korean version and I think it's already scary enough just just going to the new harbor town with the risk of there being random monsters sea monsters appearing. But this <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like this is just it's it looks big. Like I I guess this will be like a world boss thing where you need like a giant army, like a giant fleet in order to take it down because it just seems like it just looks like insanity. That'd be really cool though if that's something that a bunch of guilds with guild galleys could cooperate with to kill. Yeah. So uh, this is the region, the the Magoria region. Like this is where the uh, harbor town will be, and this is the new ocean you can explore. And this is a hurricane. <laughs> and uh, I, I actually, I, I guess we'll, I'm just saying stuff which we we talked about in the previous podcast, like many many months ago. Like it it works the same way as. Uh, same way as, uh, as as the Valencia Desert, like once you're in the sea, you, you don't see your exact position. Oh, right. And these are the routes of uh, ferries you can take if you don't have a boat yourself to go between New Harbor Town and uh, normal places. Okay. Well, I'd personally rather be much rather be lost at sea than lost in the desert. <laughs> <laughs> And I think that's it for like news about upcoming uh, stuff. There's one bit of news I wanted to share. What? It's very exciting. Oh. You might notice that Ryman is here for the podcast. <laughs> Hello, Ryman. Hi. He got the game. Finally. I did. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. That is true. That's it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. News to everyone. Ryman is playing Black Desert. <laughs> Yay, and I've been enjoying it a great deal. It is it is, it is a fun game, isn't it? I, I like the combat. The combat's fun. It's really fun combat. There's a lot of pink stuff in the game, as you can see here. There yeah, is a lot of pink stuff. Pink horse, very, very pretty. In fact, I would say flamboyancy is quite rampant in Black Desert. <laughs> Especially in our guild. I'm so proud. <laughs> So, it has been a while since our previous podcast. I could like have a quick rundown of stuff which has been released since then. Okay. When was okay. the podcast again? <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> was was Media released then? I think it was. But yeah, they they added the uh, region and node warfare to the game. They added the Valencia region with the huge uh, desert and uh, then in August there was this minor kind of gigantic spectacle of them adding a feature where you can sell cash up items in the in-game marketplace <laughs> which I personally think is a really good feature because it lets you buy it lets you buy cash up costumes and like and another 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 stuff for in-game silver rather than having to spend uh, real money because they're they're for some reason, there are plenty of people out there who are super willing to spend a lot of real-life money just to sell it on the marketplace. That was my horse, by the way. Uh, yeah, that's that's your horse. <laughs> that's me saying, ah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this also was a huge spectacle because everyone and their dog uh, cried pay to win. People still do that on occasion, I see. Uh, yeah, especially whenever like anything new is added to the cash up, like uh, the value pack also created a paid to win spectacle. The value pack is like a thing which gives you 30 days of various bonuses. But that's also something you can list on the marketplace. So, so if you're lucky, you can just uh, buy it off, off the marketplace for silver. And this was a great, great uh, bug, by the way, uh, where um, all NPCs <laughs> was looking in the face I mean, in the wrong direction. That was, uh, he amazing. just he he's he was just he's in the mid to read a book from his <laughs> first collection. It's like oh, go away, um, don't bother me. Oh, and this Are is these... a very nice house. This is a Korean version, very nice house in the Korean version. Are hmm. these the jukeboxes I've heard so much about? Uh, yeah, something else. Uh, yeah, no, no, those are the jukebox warehouses. That that's another change they did at one point. Very early on, you could you could have the first rank house by just 
we're just spamming the one item many times. Like jukebox was worth a lot of points, so you could just have this jukebox warehouses, and you would most definitely have the first rank house. But then they've changed it so so that um, you can repeat items anymore. Like like if you had two jukeboxes, it would only count once for for house points. So uh, so so then you had to be a bit more creative. So then it's more like a warehouse of everything rather than just one item repeated. Hmm. Although they were a little bit mean for some reason. Uh, this limitation does not apply to cash up items, so you could repeat like uh, one small cash up table m- cable many times for a lot of uh, oh. house points. Oh dear. To be honest, the, like that system is not very good, and it is something I feel they should uh, change. And then after that, they started releasing the uh, awakenings, like a new weapon, like a new combat style mm. for each uh, class once you reach, reach fifty six. Yep. And they've all almost released all of them. Like, we'll get the Ninja and Kunoichi uh, in one week. And then in three weeks, we'll get the Wizard and Witch. And with the Wizard Awakening, I assume we'll also finally get the Young Wizard. Speaking of Awakenings, I have all but one released so far. And I have <laughs> just one. Yeah, that, yeah. Uh, Archimedes is insane. I think I have, <laughs> I think I have three awakenings, awakenings myself. Well, I will know. I, I, I have two, but I have uh, one. I have one. I have one prepared. Like my witch is fifty six, but uh, still waiting on the awakening to actually get released. It's like the classes' combat differences were already unique enough. Like playing each class felt very different, but add awakening onto that is just like a, a whole another layer to that uniqueness and still like even with each of the like the different genders versions of the classes like they all get their own individual unique version of awakening too so that's just there's a ton of differences in combat and it feels really nice uh yeah for instance uh, the base combat for ninja and kanuchi isn't isn't that different this is racing an elephant by the way looks very normal (laughs) But yeah, the base combat yeah. between Ninja and Kinuchi is, is not very different, but but the Awakening is is super different. Like the Ninja gets uh, six swords, which he somehow uses, and the Kinuchi gets this big uh, hula hoop like uh, Tira from Soul Calibur. <laughs> and yeah, they, they've done a great job. Just well, they've done a, they, I think they've done a great job with the base combat styles to make those feel like really varied and fun. And the Awakening is also the same thing. I think I think they just they just add like new styles, which are really fun to mess around with. It just makes me wish like I had more high level characters, but it is it takes a lot of time to level to level them up. But... I got pretty tired of leveling characters to fifty six <laughs> after a while. But once I got the awakening weapons, it was definitely worth it because it added so much variation to combat and I had the choice of I think like nine different characters now if I want to do a high level combat. Yeah. I would argue that leveling up to 50 with all the XP bonus events they have going on right now in the game doesn't take that long, but 50 to 56 takes us quite a while. Yeah, and you have yeah. to be 56 to get the Awakening weapon. Yeah, that's the tricky part. But the Awakening weapons I have tried so far, I really like. Like like the Tamer one, I think it's really fun. I think it's also, I think it's also more fun than her basic uh, style. And the uh, Valkyries is definitely one of my favorite Awakening styles so far. Like, that all that almost makes me wish that I made Valkyrie as my main uh, main main combat class because she's really fun to play with once she gets her awakening. That just goes to show, by the way, that like I Sectus's favorites, he said, were Tamer and Valkyrie, and those might be my two least favorites. Like I like <laughs> Ranger and Musa the most by far, and that's I I, I think that says good things because yeah. people have different styles of playing, and the game has something for everyone. I think. Yeah, yeah, I'd say out of the classes I've tried so far, Valkyrie and Berserker have been my favorite to fight with. I used to like Warrior a lot, but then I found Valkyrie and I was like, yes, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, th- I think I've now tried the basic combat style for every class, and I, I don't I don't think there's any, any that I dislike. I think they're all fun in different ways. And I think that's pretty impressive. Mm-hmm. And the latest uh, big change they did with the game is that uh, they merged the servers. It used to be three servers in Europe, three servers in, in North America. Now there's uh, one server per region. 
Yeah, that happened just uh, a couple of days ago. Yeah. I kind hmm? mega server. I kind of wish they'd just taken it one step further <laughs> and just yeah. like m merge everything. Merge every single server. North American, European, Korean, Japanese, Russian, one big global mega server. It would be nice to be able to play with my high level characters on a server that has a ping of 30 milliseconds rather than 270. <laughs> Yeah, the, it is. yeah. I think uh, like I really like I really like the idea of like one global mega server, but the different channels are like located in, in different physical locations in the world. That'd be cool. But Every, yeah, yeah, I don't. It'll happen. Yeah, I mean that's that's like a I mean that's a pipe dream. It's it's not happening, but it would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's my ninja. <laughs> Yep, that's I. Yeah, I don't think I have any comment. You uh, you gave <laughs> you gave your ninja a mohawk. I think he still has a hairstyle, just different costume. Huh. This is oh, one of my God. jukebox houses. <laughs> Before they changed the system and I have to sell all my jukeboxes, it was very sad. This is another jukebox house I had. <laughs> oh, guys, you want to know what he did with those jukeboxes? <laughs> should I tell them, Sectors? Hmm? Should I tell them what you did? Uh, shall I tell it or, or should you tell it? Well, I guess you could tell it. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so I don't play on the Korean version. But I still have it installed, and I, I and I still log in now and then, like like just to make videos of like uh, of new patches and like uh, stuff like that. And that also gives me like a sneak peek of what's happening, which will happen with English version. So I realized like the the house point system, like that was changed in the Korean version before it was changed in the English version. So I just casually sold all my jukeboxes while they were at pretty high price. <laughs> yeah, before people knew that they were going to drop in value. Well, I was nice. I did post on forums like, hey, guys, this is happening. And like at the same time, I was selling all of them, I guess. <laughs> I mean, there's like there's this guy who probably sold my jukeboxes who wasn't reading forums, who were potentially made a little bit sad. He made he made me happy, though. Like I, I like I got 80 million silver from those jukeboxes. So that's OK. Like it's. it's <laughs> At least it ended on a happy note, you guys. Is a... You crafted most of those yourselves, didn't you? All of them, I think. Okay, yeah. Well, if you crafted them yourself and you made a forum post as you're selling them, so I think that's fair. You're not as evil as I thought you were. Yeah. <laughs> as you continue hoarding sharpened hard shards from the marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cheap! I need to buy them. They're so cheap! They did the same thing with Blackstones, too, before the market crashed. They were so cheap! <laughs> What am I supposed to do? Uh, he's filthy. <laughs> so um, I just want to point out, like, um, for instance, this is closer to what you you'll see now with houses, and like this specific, specifically, like this is one like, cash up chandelier repeated a billion times, and I'm not a huge fan of this, but oh well, it's it's how well, it is now. Actually, to be fair, with all these candles and chandeliers, the house actually looks properly lit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not dead inside. I the houses are dark with no lights and things. I think yeah. I think they did release a patch at one point which did uh, did increase like the default uh, light level for houses. I did see that in patch notes, but I don't think I'd noticed a difference yet. My house is still pretty dark and I have plenty of lights. So it was common back in the day to have like jukebox uh, houses to get house points. You could also get a lot of paintings to get a lot of house points. The, the downside of this is that you can't sell this on the marketplace. So whoever made houses like this with a ton of paintings, they would they would cry a lot because this is just a waste. Like like this is, has no value now, all those paintings. Well, if they put it in different houses in different towns, at least maybe that would help them get number one bank. Well, I, I mean, I guess if they have like 300 residences, then maybe they'll have useful <laughs> these paintings. But wait, are, are each of those things, can you go back? Hmm? Are each of these single books they bought? Okay. Okay. So I think I know what this is, and it is something I only learned recently. So uh, if you go to the Calfion Calfion Library, and there's an NPC mm -hmm. you can talk to, which will do things with the, with the knowledge. You have two options there. You can reset knowledge, so you have like a you have a chance to like fight an enemy again and, and get knowledge of a higher rank. Mm -hmm. The other option is to delete all knowledge of one category. Like for instance. Let, Let's say you have all uh, knowledge about the Saucens. Then you can delete all knowledge about the Saucens and get a book about them. And hmm. each knowledge book is unique. 
So what? I so I am thinking maybe this person did that and just deleted a ton of knowledge to get books about them. Oh my god. Uh, by the way, and one each of those are worth interior points? Yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, once you have that knowledge as a book, you can actually in, you can interact with them and 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 gain that knowledge again. Well, wow. so it is an it is an interesting system, but not something I have messed around with a lot. This is the first time I wasted all my silver on the one stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I I wish I knew it would be like two hundred million silver cheaper in the future, but oh well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I don't know what else to uh, talk about. Do you guys have any general impressions to say about the game? As How- someone who's only just started playing, I'm certainly very much looking forward to all this new stuff that's coming probably next year ish or starting to come out next year so, yeah yay. yeah um i think they said earlier this year the magora expansion would be this fall but uh we're getting kind of close to the end of the year now hmm. but i am also super definitely looking forward to this new content is there any like specific changes you guys would like to see happen to the game in the future any specific kind of new content hmm I would like to see more player interactions, like animations or things that you can do player to player that are more fun, more involved. Yeah, I'd guess that is one area where the game is perhaps a bit lacking. Maybe something that you could put in your house, in your player residences that you can interact with as a group. Just little details like that that involve more people together, I think is more fun to see. And there's not too much of that right now i know an actual multiplayer black desert board game that you could play in the <laughs> game that'd be fun oh my <laughs> god it would it would involve so many dice <laughs> but yeah those those would be uh, would be fun things also i think it'd be pretty nice i mean we've i think we've said this a lot of times in a lot of places but it would be cool to have a channel specific that specifically has no PvP forced yeah. on you. <laughs> yeah. Just at one out of the 36 channels. I mean, they, they kind of got a little closer to that recently with the merge. They have two channels that are locked to people that are above level 30 or something like that. Uh, it's, it's, it's a, it's a um, channel locked to people who are new to the game. I, th- mm. I think if you played well, it for less than 30 days or, or if you recently bought the game, then you can be there for 30 days. I don't remember the specifics. Specific rules. Yeah, I think that's right. The wording said if you're if you've made a new account or if you haven't logged in for thirty days, you can access those. Services. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds right. And I just, think, I... Hmm, go ahead. Uh, just, uh, I think there's also a level limit with those channels. I think. Hmm. Yeah, I think it was thirty or something like that. I might be wrong though. Uh, you were just, saying? I think uh, maybe a potential way to handle that, because people would say that people would just go there to steal mobs and grief people that way. You could, I mean, they could just make it so you get 50% of the XP that you normally get from mobs on those channels. Or just some Something like that. Just give people the option to not have to deal with people harassing them. <laughs> it would be nice, just for a channel or two. I just want to quickly point out that this... Is what you commonly oh. see at Velodox, and this will actually be fixed soon. Oh, in, really? In in the Korean version, they added a feature, which makes it so that boats will automatically be put away if they're at the harbor after a certain wonder, time. I wonder if they saw your forum post about it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I I, um, I agree with your uh, channel thing. I think I, th- I think that would be a good, like, a good compromise. Like. Ha- have 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 one or two channels which are PvE only, but uh, but again like less combat XP or something on them to 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 encourage people to be on other channels too. Yeah, that'd be nice. Just less combat XP, but the same life skill or maybe a little bit more life skill XP, so you can ride your horses around and not worry about being attacked while you're sleeping. <laughs> oh, there's uh, one other thing we should point out. Uh, the game recently received a permanent discount. You can now get the game for as little as ten euros or ten dollars. Yeah, yeah, that is that is nice. They also have a. Also, ref- uh, hmm? 
go ahead. I think uh, you were saying the same thing I was going to say. Uh, they also have a refer a friend system. Oh yeah, that's right. Which which works in two different ways. You have uh, guest passes you can give uh, to people, which lasts uh, seven days, and um, and if the person with the guest pass reaches level forty, then the person who sent the guest pass will will gain some in-game infinite thing like 500 100 loyalties and then you also have uh, an option to gift the game to someone and then that person will gain even more benefits if that if that new owner reaches level 40 i think, I think it's level 30 for that yeah 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 that yeah I th yeah yeah i think you're right and uh, i th think that's the only way in the game to get the uh the uh what is it? Polar bear? bear? Yeah, yeah, the polar bear pet. Mm -hmm. You need to gift someone the game in order to get that pet. I this, by the way, is one of my favorite screenshots ever. <laughs> <laughs> this screenshot is amazing. <laughs> I've never seen a horse that wants to be stuffed on a wall before. That's that doesn't sound right. I was I was just climbing this ladder and suddenly this my horse teleported. Up here. It was amazing. <laughs> And uh, speaking of the guest pass and stuff, if people do want a guest pass, I think I have like nine or some, something I can give away. So if you want one, just just let me know and I'll throw one your way if you want to test the game. Yeah, I have one left myself. But I, oh, I think... oh yeah, I haven't used any of my seven day guest passes. So I think amongst our guild, we'd have plenty to hand out if people would really like to try the game. Yeah, and also hmm? that being said. Uh, if people watching do end up getting the game and wanting to play on the European server, which is all on the same server after the merge, um, we we would we would um, recruit you if you're looking for a friendly, cuddly, <laughs> flamboyant uh, guild. For a flamboyant, yeah, as Roman put it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's always it's good to have a group of friends to play with. I think we've got like 48 or 47 people right now. Yeah, we we have a, I think I think we have a good guild. guild. It's not huge, but it's it's filled with friendly people, and that's the important thing. Yeah, and that definitely makes the game more enjoyable. So, if you guys are looking to get into the game, if you're curious about it, you want to try it, ask us for a seven day pass, and you you're welcome to join the guild, even if it's just for those seven days. We could help you out, show you things in the game. Yeah, and, and uh, I th I think you, maybe you mentioned that we're on the European server. Region. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just want to point out that uh, this is an actual <laughs> node manager, and he just li lies down like this the entire time. <laughs> it's it's my favorite NPC, I think. I thought it was a dead enemy. No, no, yeah, it's a node I manager. I saw that. <laughs> and also, I want to point out that I'm wearing this outfit because on my screen he was nude. <laughs> ah, I can't. I, I see. <laughs> I can't remember the exact dialogue, but l when you talk this non budget he says something about, ah, oh, this is such a nice nap spot, something like that. It's, it's a mess <laughs> Such a nice spot to die. <laughs> and uh, this is a weather change they made recently. Whenever there's uh, thunder, there's now the fancy lightning effects. Which is really cool looking. Yeah, it, it, looks, it looks cool. It, That's another thing that I'd like to see changed in the game, by the way, for weather patterns to last a little, a little bit longer. Yeah. Because you'll get storms and rain every now and then, but it usually lasts for about five minutes and then it goes away. And uh, somehow we managed to get a tier three node at one point. Like no one else went went for this node, so we got it, and that's kind of baffling. And whenever you own a node um, or a region, for that matter, whenever you approach event PCs at that area, they will kneel down before you. I didn't know that. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, that's that's a that's a neat thing. <laughs> and this is me just cooking, normal, normal cooking. <laughs> I remember you took that screenshot to show Ryman and I think the ingredients for milk tea or something. <laughs> I I can't remember. <laughs> well, at least he's not trying to make cake with sugar canes. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, don't do this. By the way, you will lose all the ingredients. Like the game will actually accept these items, and you will get nothing in return. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you tell him? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for telling you the truth. Oh, this was mm -hmm. taken after a guild boss, which we do every now and then. But lately, we've been doing like three to five guild bosses at the same time. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We learned that you can summon more than one at a time, and like just fighting five at the same time is a lot more fun than just one. 
And that's been a fun group activity to get like 10 plus people together. Yeah. Maybe I'll just quickly go through these uh, screenshots. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And this is another thing. that There's a convoy of NPCs going between Valencia City and, uh, and, and the bazaar, I think. Ignore this symbol that you see. I'm hiding it. <laughs> It's my name. <laughs> After complaining about PvP, I don't want people to see that. So what no. Archimedes is conveniently hiding is that you have to flag up in order to attack these NPCs. <laughs> and I, I, I want to say, like, I, th I think, I think that I think between the two of us, we lost like three hundred fifty thousand karma killing these NPCs. Yeah, it was a lot. <laughs> And I want to say we we'll gain like five million silver. Like it's not a huge gain by like by killing this. Uh, yeah, yeah. And it was a big challenge too because we got stunned like crazy. Oh and yeah, there's a lot of help. Yeah, it took. I think I want to say we for them like ten minutes right before they died. And and you get like high value uh, trade items when you kill them. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I think I love that shark costume. I think this is actually the last screenshot. And yeah, this shark costume is great. This is um this is upcoming with the Magoria region and I hate saying this, but it, it kind of feels like this will be more or less necessary. Well, maybe maybe not necessary, but super convenient to explore in the water because this with this outfit you will swim much, much faster and you can breathe on the water for longer. Uh by the way, I don't know if we talked about it in the last podcast, but they have changed the way uh, swimming works with the last underwater update that we got maybe a couple of months ago. You can stay underwater a lot longer than you used to be able to, and you don't drown if you don't come back up. You just automatically resurface. Uh, yeah, and uh, you will never you will never um, take damage when when after stamina will just drown in swimming. It is like like swimming is now one hundred percent safe. But it is it is slow unless you get this costume. Like I think I think there's some there are some there's some consumables in the game you can use in order to uh, like have more stamina to breathe on the, on the water for longer. Mm -hmm. But the easy solution is to simply buy this costume, which I will be doing. Uh, which I will be doing as well. At least I'll have the money to easily buy it because uh, there was this. Contest they had recently. Uh, oh, the, yeah. uh, they're gonna make a calendar and that a contest for people to submit screenshots for each uh, month. And me, like me person, like it, like this person here, right? right here, is one of the winners. So I'll get some pearls from that and I'll spend that on this uh, shark outfit. I'm surprised you didn't include that screenshot with the podcast. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can just link it in the video. Video description. I just, I just completely forgot about that. And I will conveniently link the one with the semi-naked man jumping into the water. That also won one of the months. Yeah, that's one of the winners. <laughs> that was a pretty fun contest. I hope to have more oh. contests like that. Flying horse. Those, those were two good screenshots after another. That's me on my horse. Yeah. I uh, might have a habit of killing tier one horses. No, <laughs> this, this, either. yeah, this horse died. I did the same thing, and my horse survived, because I used a horse which I had tamed but not registered yet, and those horses, for some reason, are invincible. So you failed. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, th I think that's the end of this uh, podcast. I'm sorry it wasn't the most organized, but I felt like we haven't done a podcast in ages, and we're still playing this game, and there was stuff to talk about, so yeah, like this is a podcast, yeah. And stay tuned to youtube.com forward slash fluffy quack for footage of the Dark Knight class coming soon. Uh, yeah, uh, once that is released, I'll uh, I'll record footage of it, some basic combat, some customization stuff. I am I'm really excited to just try the class. It's, it's, it's the first class adding to the game in over a year, I think, in the Korean version. I guess that's true. But yes, I'll see you guys some other time. Bye. Also, young bye. wizard coming soon.